I really loved the Bionic Woman TV series. Not as much as the Six Million Dollar Man, mind you, but I still think it's fair to say that I truly loved the show. And one of the reasons that the show was so darn great was Lindsay Wagner. I had enjoyed her guest appearances on the Six Million Dollar Man and was pretty darn broken up when the character rejected her bionic implants and died on that show. Fortunately for me, I wasn't the only one who had grown fond of former tennis pro Jamie Summers. And before you knew it, like all good superheroic characters, she was back from the dead and starring in her own TV series, which would run for three seasons on two different networks. And if you thought that I was going to talk about all things Bionic, and not include a picture of Bionic Bigfoot, then you are gravely mistaken, my friend. Man, I love Bionic Bigfoot. Strange visitor from another planet, and a heck of a great Kenner action figure as well. Speaking of toys, I think that is probably why I liked the Six Million Dollar Man just a tiny bit more than the Bionic Woman, because while Steve got a cool Bionic transport and repair station, Jamie got a Bionic beauty salon. And yes, I know I wasn't supposed to be the target audience for that toy, but really, did the Bionic Woman have to go the Barbie route? Still, she did have some pretty nice merch. The lunchbox was excellent, and yes, I did own a copy of the novelization. I don't know what else Eileen Lottman has written, but she was a good enough author to have young Dave Sundstrom read the book not once, but twice during my formative teenage years. You know, The Bionic Woman is pretty unique in that it started on ABC, moved to NBC, and then the very last Bionic reunion movie, Bionic Ever After, I believe was on CBS. I can't think of another character that has been on all three major television networks. I'm sure there has been one, I just can't think of him or her at the moment. Anyway, I share all this to hopefully establish the fact that in the mid-70s, Lindsay Wagner was pretty much everywhere. And I'm not even going to try to mention everything that she's been in, but three memorable appearances were in the motion pictures The Paper Chase and Nighthawks with Sly Stallone, as well as the TV movie The Two Worlds of Jenny Logan. Regarding that last one, if you are a fan of Somewhere in Time, you will love this film co-starring the Beastmaster himself, Mark Singer. But you know what? Lindsay is more than just the sum of the hundreds of acting roles that she's taken on over the years. She has always tried to keep learning new things, and as time has rolled on, she's taken a fascination with alternative and holistic medicinal techniques, first trumpeting the benefits of acupressure as a means of achieving a non-surgical facelift, and then in the 90s, Lindsay began living a vegetarian lifestyle. So much so, in fact, that she put together a cookbook, The High Road to Health. And a few years back, Lindsay accepted a role as an adjunct professor in the art and theater department at San Bernardino Valley College. You know, I have to believe that this is Lindsay's way of paying it forward. She doesn't need a gig like this. I have to believe that she is financially already in a good place. That said, here she is, sharing her love of acting with a new generation of students. What a wonderful thing to do. And that doesn't mean she's retired from TV and movies. Most recently, you can find her on the long-running ABC television program, Grey's Anatomy. Lindsay is also hard at work acting in her first ever video game for Sony Interactive called Death Stranding. I'm looking forward to that one. Fingers crossed that it sees the light of day within the next year or so. Those games can take a long time to put together. One more thing, if you are at all a fan of Linda Carter's Wonder Woman TV series, you've got to check out this amazing comic book mashup from DC and Dynamite Comics that at long last teams up Jamie Summers with Diana Prince. The comic is so much darn fun. Seriously, it's like taking a trip back in time. I'll post a link to where you can get the comic book in the description section of this video. So that's it. One last pick. This time, Diana Prince and Jamie Summers in real life. What beautiful ladies they were then and still are today. Alright, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section and while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Maybe share this video on Facebook or Twitter. And what the heck, why not subscribe to my channel? I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.